Welcome to MEM, the ultimate self-organizing workspace. MEM is not just another note-taking app, it's a powerful tool that helps you capture and find information in seconds without the hassle of creating complex organizational systems. Before we dive deeper into each of the features of MEM, I wanna show you quickly how you can capture new notes, retrieve existing ones, and create tasks within a matter of seconds, all from within one note. So let's say, for example, I wanted to create a new note called the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to MEM. I can just do this right here. And now I have a new MEM titled The Ultimate Guide to Using MEM. Uh, if I wanted to, I could also retrieve existing notes. So for example, if I wanted to do something like find notes on decision, uh, I can just say, okay, here are my decisions with high reversal cost notes. But the other thing that's really cool is that MEM will also show you similar notes that might be relevant to the current note that you're working on. So that way you don't even have to remember what notes you might the other thing we can do in MEM is we can capture tasks in any note and it will show up in our task view. So if I go here and say design ultimate guide layout and I go over to my tasks view, you'll see here that if I scroll down to the note titled beginner's guide to mem.ai, you'll see that the task is linked to that specific note. Last but not least, we can actually add this note to a collection. So for example, you can just go up here and say, add this to projects and tags effectively become replacements for folders. So in a, under a minute, we have created a new note, we've retrieved an existing note, we've added a task to this note, and all of it is accessible from this one note. So you can do all of this without ever having to leave MEM and you can access other relevant notes. Now let's do a deeper dive into some of the other features. There are a couple of different ways that you can capture information inside of MEM. The first is just by directly creating a note and you can just press control and we can just say this is a new note. And as you'll see here, the mem editor has most of the same features as all of the other different note taking apps you've used. It has the ability to bold things, to turn things into headers, to create check marks, to turn text into bullets and much more. But there are also several other ways that you can use mem. So another really powerful tool inside of mem is something called mem spotlight. With a simple keyboard shortcut, you can call up the mem spotlight window and you can just press tab and create a new note just by uh, pressing one key. You can also use Mem Spotlight to capture information that you might find on the web. So for example, if you're reading an article uh, and you highlight the text from that article, you can just use Mem Spotlight and then it will get saved to Mem as a new note. The other thing that's really cool about Mem is that you can also capture notes by using text messages. So if you go into flows here, one of the things you'll see here is that you have the ability to set up a phone number and send notes directly to MEM through text messages. So when you have ideas on the go, you can ensure that you don't forget them. And that's one of the most useful things about MEM. Finding and organizing your notes in MEM is way simpler than it is in almost any other tool because of the fact that you actually don't have to do much organizing. So the first thing you can do in MEM is pretty much just search. So if you search for any title, you will actually find the information that you're looking for. And let's just say we wanted to do a quick search for something like decision-making. One of the nice things about the way that MEM displays your search results is it doesn't just give you the title of the note, but you can actually get a much more granular view into the note. You can actually see what the content inside of that note is. And you'll see here that it not only brings you the most relevant results or the top results, but it also gives you all the other results that might mention the word decision making. So search is one of the first ways that you can find notes in MEM. The other thing that you can do in MEM to organize your notes is use tags and collections. So in MEM, tags effectively become replacements for folders. So for example, let's say that I wanted to tag this as part of something called Workflow Genius, which is a new company that we're starting. If I click here, you'll see every single thing that is inside of my collection of notes for this particular tag or collection shows up right there. So that way you don't have to waste time looking for information. You can just create simple collections and when something is in a collection, you can find it very easily. It also provides recommendations for other notes that might be relevant to whatever it is that you're looking for. Managing projects and tasks in MEM is also very simple. One of the really nice things about MEM is that no matter where you add a task, it's going to show up in your task view. So for example, let's say that we are going to create a task that says edit a video. We can then say, let's make this a task. And once we make this a task and we go over here to our task view, you'll see here that it shows up as edit a video. 
Now, you also have this timeline view. And the reason here it's showing up as earlier this week is because of the fact that I created the note we were just looking at earlier. We can also change when we're going to complete these tasks. So for example, you can see here we have tasks for today. We have tasks from before. So any note where you capture a task, all those tasks will show up here in this view. So it's very easy to remember what tasks you need to complete. One of the most powerful features in MEM is a concept called bidirectional links. Unlike other note taking apps where you have to cut and paste information from one note to another, one of the things that you can do in MEM is you can just link different notes together. So for example, we could say we're going to add this note about bidirectional links. And one of the nice things about bidirectional links is they actually help you retrace the line of thought that sparked an idea to begin with. So for example, let's say that you're writing something and you come up with an idea while you're writing, you can actually then retrace the thought process that led to that idea. What you'll see is other notes where this note was mentioned or linked. So for example, when you come up with one idea, you'll probably come up with others. And as you can see here, we can link different notes together to create content. And this drastically speeds up your content creation process and it dramatically increases your ability to use your notes. So just to recap, there are three different ways that you can capture notes inside of MEM. The first is directly just by typing them. You can use MEM Spotlight and you can even send text messages to yourself. Finding and organizing your notes is super simple. It's almost unnecessary because MEM is a self-organizing workspace, but you can search for anything and find it very easily and you can group notes together using MEMS collections feature. The other thing you can do is you can manage your projects and tasks very easily. Any note where you create a project or any note where you create a task, that task will then show up in your tasks view so you always know what tasks you need to complete and it doesn't matter where you capture that task. And last but not least, MEMS bidirectional links feature allows you not only to retrace the line of thought that sparked an idea, but maximize the utility of your personal information and utilize all your notes much more than you would in say another type of system where you're just capturing notes and they're all sort of a disjointed mess where you have to do a lot of cutting and pasting. And if you want to learn more, visit maximizeyouroutput.com to learn about our course on how to get started with MEM.